Hello Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to your reading. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate for everyone. Okay, for Pisces, please. What message for Pisces? Love situation, please, Spirit. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So pain, heartache and pain. Could be unresolved pain. Pain caused by a third party or, you know, someone could be in a lot of pain without you. You could be in a lot of pain without someone here. Let's see for the present situation. The death card, so a painful ending. Ending of this connection here could be with a Scorpio. Could also talk about a transformation though. A change in this situation. Let's see for the death card. Why is the death card here? The Knight of Cups. So someone might want a new beginning with you. They might want to come towards you with a cup of love after an ending let's see for the knight of cups why is the knight of cups here the four of wands someone is thinking about commitment with you here a new beginning a stable something more stable and they want to express how they feel for you so unfinished business here Let's see for the block or potential. And the ten of wands. Someone is really not doing well without, without you. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a lot of pain here because they're missing you. Okay, or vice versa. You're missing them. Are you both missing each other? Why is the ten of wands here? the four of pentacles so there's potential for stability and security in this connection and someone knows that and someone's lost here without 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 this commitment why is the four of pentacles you could have been married with this person why is the four of pentacles here the world Yeah, definitely someone is not doing well, okay, with this ending. They, they, they don't like to be at a distance from you. Someone's not doing well as well because there's a lot of holding back. And someone's tired of holding back, possibly as well with that Four of Pentacles. And they need to express how they feel for you. Yeah, with that Ten of Wands, they, they can't hold back anymore. They're, they're really tired of this. They're tired of the distance. They're tired of this ending and they're tired of holding back strong emotions here. They're tired of the pain. I think someone just wants to get to that Ace of Wands, you know, that opportunity for a brand new beginning. There's a lot of desire here that someone's holding back. Let's see for the recent past. For the recent past. And the Eight of Wands. So someone could have moved away from this connection here. They moved away, but, you know, I don't think it was the right direction for, for someone here because it just ended up with, a, you know, a lot of stress and anxiety. Things just did not work out. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Nine of Cups. I think someone moved away from a connection <clears throat> that they actually wish to be with, to be in. It was the connection that it, they've always wished for, and they moved away from that. It could have been, a, you know, a third party, the interference here. But yeah, something felt, someone really felt like this was everything that they wished for, but someone moved away here. From this, from this wish fulfillment. And now they're at a loss here. They feel at a loss. 
Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Hierophant. So it's a strong commitment. A strong commitment here. With, with the Taurus, you two could have been very different. You two could have had different views of what a commitment, you know, was like. Yeah, you two could have just had conflicts about that. Very different values, different beliefs, even though, you know, you wish to be with one another. But there was definitely a third party interference here with that three of swords here. Let's see for the focus, for the focus, the nine of pentacles could be deal with a Virgo. Someone's focusing on being more stable. So maybe they lack stability. There was a lot of wish fulfillment. But only one person just was stable here with this hierophant. So one person brought a lot of stability and security here for someone, but the other person did not. It's the other per there was no equal give and take. So yeah, because someone's now focusing on becoming stable. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So they're single, they're stable, they're available, and they're focusing on you, right? Queen of Cups. So you're very loving towards this person. Why is the Queen of Cups here? the hermit a virgo again so a lot of thinking here about you about trying to find guidance here because someone just you know was not going in the right direction here yeah someone is really like doing a lot of reflection soul searching finding guidance towards you here yeah back to you yeah finding guidance back to you and they want to express how they feel let's see for the near future for the near future the strength card so strength and courage needed here confidence as well could be deal with the leo why is the strength card here the fool to take that leap of faith so after finding this guidance, this enlightenment, they're going to move towards you. Yeah. Just the, they just need confidence here to take that leap of faith. Could be with an Aries. Why is the fool here? For a fresh new start, the five of cups. Yeah, because they miss you here. They miss you. And, and yeah, they want to they wanna come towards you. They miss you. They're at a loss here. Five of Cups, Ten of Wands. They're at a loss. The direction that they took here just ended up with a lot of sadness and, and sorrow and just being lost without you. Let's see for the what you should know. The Emperor. So Aries again here. Someone is trying to level up here. Why is the Emperor here? The Knight of Swords wanting to rush in towards you. This Emperor, this Emperor just, you know, with that Hermit, they got it. They know where they should be headed. And they don't want to waste any more time. Why is the Knight of Swords here? That Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to see you. They want equal give and take. They want that interaction with you. Yeah, this person just, you know, misses you a lot here. Oh, yeah. They don't like this distance. Someone could have had financial problems and waiting to be more uh, financially stable for that equal give and take so that it's not one-sided anymore. Let's see for the outcome. For the outcome. For the outcome the ace of swords so taking action okay so strength and courage needed because there's an important conversation here that needs to take place so 
open and honest conversation someone wants to be authentic now someone wants to be transparent someone wants to come towards you with with the truth of what happened in the past because why did someone leave a connection that you know they wished for that there was a lot of wish fulfillment that was stable so maybe someone just left and you didn't have that clarity about it so they might want to provide that clarity for you that's why they might be thinking with that through with that hermit how to approach you what to say to you to avoid conflicts here because it could be some harsh truth why is the ace of swords here why is the ace of swords the queen of swords okay so yeah so queen of swords is a very hard it's a hard energy to approach here a very hard energy that's why strength and courage is definitely needed because someone is closed off here someone is hurt someone because there was i mean something good here in the past wish fulfillment and stability that someone provided and it was rejected so yeah someone's hurt here three of swords that's the queen of swords as well right she's she's hurt and angry and this could be you could go vice versa but this is you they definitely need guidance here strength and courage to say what they need to say to you because they might fear you will reject them they might fear that you will cut them out for good why is the queen of swords here and the two of pentacles yeah they're like should i shouldn't i should i shouldn't i approach pisces because i'm scared here of pisces reaction here because they really i mean they really love you and they want to rush in yeah the knight of swords rushing in with some sort of truth there's there's definitely something that was hidden from you that they need to tell you there were things that were hidden from you and so they are stagnating this okay because they're scared here to approach you so with that two pentacles they're postponing it or you know but they will come towards you because they eventually they'll you know they will open up but uh yeah and they love you with that knight of cups they have a lot of love that they want to express they're, they might be holding back but they, they, they're they gonna express it to you eventually but uh yeah there's like an important and honest they, they want to be honest now they don't want to lie to you they want a new beginning where they're, they 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 want to be authentic now but it's just you know getting it going they they need strength and courage here they're gathering strength and courage to say what it is that they need to say to you yeah because yeah i do, even i don't have a lot of clarity about what happened in the past because i see something that was actually good and maybe you thought it was just going in the right direction then it just went south, right? There's definitely third-party third interference here. So, that's it, Pisces. So, it's up to you, okay? So, maybe there are definitely trust issues here. Trust needs to be rebuilt. And so, it's up to you whether or not you trust them. So, I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Take care.